2024 Acura RDX. The 2024 Acura RDX is the premium brand's smallest and most affordable SUV. It's also its second best seller behind the larger, three-row Acura MDX. The five-passenger RDX is also among the top sellers in its highly competitive class, which includes the Lexus NX and European rivals such the BMW X3, Volvo XC60, and Audi Q5. Acura has built its reputation on delivering a lot for less, and the RDX is a premium compact SUV offering outstanding value. It's less expensive than most of its rivals, but just as well equipped. Build quality is top-notch. Like every Acura model, the RDX is built in Ohio and has a well-earned reputation for reliability. Plus, it has the highest possible safety ratings. Its cabin is sporty and modern, with excellent people and cargo space, but it isn't as plush as competitors such as the Porsche Macan and Genesis GV70. The infotainment system has a large 10.3-inch screen, but it isn't a touchscreen. 2024 Alfa Romeo Tonale After a short production run during its introductory US model year, the Alfa Romeo Tonale returns for 2024, adding a third trim level to its lineup. While other engines are available outside the US, here Eta Euro TM S sold exclusively as a plug-in hybrid. Now available in Sprint, T, and Veloce trims, the Tonale offers an alluring combination of style, premium features, plug-in hybrid efficiency, and sporty driving dynamics. This is, at its heart, an Alfa Romeo A Euro a brand with a rich history of building performance cars for professional racing. The introduction of a plug-in hybrid crossover does na Euro TMT mean Alfa has forgotten its heritage. The Tonale has a healthy dose of Italian DNA with a striking exterior design that includes the distinctive Alfa Romeo grille and an elegant, sporty interior with heavily bolstered sport seats. It delivers sharp handling and a total of 285 horsepower from its plug-in hybrid engine, and it has a good range of technology and safety features. 2024 Audi Q5 Three adults might find the Q5's rear bench seat a bit confining, but it will accommodate a couple of young kids and a dog just fine. With standard all-wheel drive, the Q5 seems a bargain compared to its two key German competitors. The Mercedes-Benz GLC, most recently redesigned in 2023, is fresher and offers more potent powertrains. The BMW X3 boasts a simpler lineup and more cargo space than the Q5. The Volvo XC60 offers more standard horsepower than the Audi and features standard all-wheel drive. US car buyers love the Audi Q5 making the five-passenger crossover utility one of the top sellers in the compact luxury segment. As the Q5, it assumes the shape of a conventional crossover utility. In Q5 Sportback form, it adopts the fastback style of several European coupe-like utilities. Even though the current generation Q5 was introduced several years ago, its handsome profile still turns heads. The same could be said for its interior. 2025 Cadillac XT5. In the swiftly evolving field of midsize luxury SUVs, the 2025 Cadillac XT5 is marking time. Many observers thought this model would kick off the XT5's next A Euro and perhaps last A Euro gas powered generation, as Cadillac's goal of an all electric fleet by 2030 looms in sight, a pledge Cadillac has since walked back. However, the XT5's next act will have to wait, as this year's model sees only minor changes. A few features, such as a leather-wrapped heated steering wheel and night vision, have quietly exited the features sheet. In the swiftly evolving field of midsize luxury SUVs, the 2025 Cadillac XT5 is marking time. Many observers thought this model would kick off the XT5's next A Euro and perhaps last A Euro gas-powered generation. 2025 Genesis GV70 There are some drawbacks with the GV70, but they a Euro TM re-minor. Fuel economy is slightly below the class average, 
as are the GV70A Euro TMS measurements for cargo and passenger space, but only by a small margin. And, if you a Euro TM re familiar with Kia slash Hyundai products, some of the cabin switchgear will feel a bit like Eda Euro TM has been sourced from less expensive cars. Those small foibles arena Euro TM T enough to keep us away, though, or keep us from recommending the 2025 Genesis GV70. A relative newcomer to the class, the Genesis GV70 was introduced in 2022, it competes with small luxury SUVs such as the BMW X3, Volvo XC60, and Audi Q5. The GV70 is an impressive entry in the class, with a premium look and feel, appealing powertrain selections, a smooth ride, and impressive value. A big part of the GV70 A Euro TMS appeal comes from its aesthetic. On the outside, Eta Euro TMS sleek and modern. 2025 Mercedes-Benz GLA. Subcompact luxury SUVs might be considered the gateway drug to a brand's larger, pricier models. Luxury brands certainly think of subcompacts as an opportunity to distill a brand's performance, quality, and refinement into a pint-sized package that's aspirational but still relatively affordable. The 2025 Mercedes-Benz GLA has served that role since its debut a decade ago, but this second-generation GLA, introduced in 2021, most fully delivers on the Benz premium promise. Where its predecessor rode rough and shifted gears awkwardly, the current GLA benefits from Mercedes tinkering and now offers the smooth and quiet ride you could expect from Benz's bread-and-butter C-Class sedan. Engine and handling performance are lively in the GLA 250 base trim, if not exactly pulse-raising. But what's sacrificed in performance is gained in class-leading fuel economy. The AMG GLA 35 trim and its 302 horsepower engine, meanwhile, offer a pathway to bigger thrills. The GLA also offers one of the nicest interiors in the class, with high quality materials and soft touch surfaces. 2025 Mercedes Benz GLB Standard equipment includes tech features like Mercedes dual 10.25 inch touchscreens and wireless smartphone connectivity. Depending on trim level, however, extras like adaptive cruise control and navigation are optional, a bit disappointing for a luxury SUV with a starting price of around $50,000. A few other compact luxury SUVs worth taking a closer look at are the BMW X1, Audi Q3, and Volvo XC40. All three have lower starting prices and come standard with all-wheel drive, but the GLB is the only one in the group with an optional third row. The 2025 Mercedes-Benz GLB is a compact luxury SUV that fits in Mercedes' lineup right next to the Mercedes GLA, its smallest SUV. They have the same powertrain and very similar interiors. But while the GLA has a sleeker profile and a more coupe-like rear roof, the GLB is boxy, with an upright shape and a few more inches of length, giving it additional cargo space and a layout that can accommodate an optional third row of seating. The GLB received several significant updates last year, so the 2025 GLB carries over without any big changes.